I'm Jeff Swenson, Associate Vice President, U.S. Beef Marketing and Sales, and I'm here today with Brad Johnson, Beef Product Development Manager. Brad, in December of 2014, Gen X launched a new fertility sire evaluation called PregCheck. Why don't you go ahead and describe that for our customers for us? What What is PregCheck? Sure. Uh, PregCheck is uh, kind of an industry first for the beef industry. It's a, a sire, individual sire fertility evaluation. So a ranking of sires and their and the, the relative conception rate of their frozen semen. And uh, it's a ranking based upon a, a, a 100 base, so a 100 average, and uh, sires uh, fluctuate on both sides of that, obviously. So it's uh, uh, a ranking of the bull's ability to get cows pregnant. Okay. Um, an another question out there maybe people might ask is why? Why did Gen X feel that this was something that needed to come out and, and how, how can it help our customers? Uh, th this is grassroots driven, Jeff. I mean, this is something that our customers have wanted forever. Um, we've always looked across the fence to our dairy counterparts and, and they've had a, a fertility evaluation for decades. Uh, but it, it's been extremely elusive uh, um, to, to capture on the beef side of things. Um, we, we've, always, we've always envied the dairy industry in that way. And so uh, we took it upon ourselves to, to try to replicate that system uh, for beef bulls. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's proven to be uh, very well accepted. Okay. So, Brad, I'm, I'm a customer out, out in, in Montana. And how, how do I use it in, in mating my breeding decisions for the 2015 season? Sure. Uh, well, Jeff, I, I think it's probably another tool you're going to utilize. It'll be a, another piece of your sire selection mm -hmm. process. Um, you know, I, I don't think there'll be a lot of herds where this will be the only criteria, uh, but it will definitely be a part of the, the criteria. So, um, you know, obviously you're not going to throw out, you know, the other traits that you look for in your program, whether it's you know, calving ease or growth or carcass or maternal traits, you're not going to throw those out the window and seek of the best fertility sire. Sure. But what you are going to do is, is you're going to probably gravitate towards the bulls that are, that are a proven sire. So you, you know what you're getting there versus an unknown sire. Okay. Where, where do I find the results? I, I see them in the 2015 Beef Genetic Management Guide that Gen X puts out. And are these the only results I, I'll see all year long? Sure. Uh, these are the first results that you'll see, Jeff. So, so in January, we printed what we had available on the proven bulls above a, a certain threshold for reliability or, or basically accuracy. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, if a bull wasn't at a 70% reliability, we, we've held off to print those numbers uh, just for sake of seeing those fluctuations. We want a bull to, uh, to be fairly reliable before we put that data in the marketplace. Uh, but what you see in the, in the management guide is the very first data. Um, we run this evaluation about every uh, four to six weeks, and uh, we'll keep those results updated on our Gen X website. So there's new results out there yep, coming we've, soon? or We've actually had one run already since the management guide, so we've added bulls and, and updated those proven sires as well. Uh, but we're looking to do another one very shortly and every, every month, month and a half from now on out. Uh, on these runs, how many bulls do you think you'll add at a, at a time? Um, well, currently we've been adding uh, four to six bulls uh, each evaluation. Uh, we'd like to increase that number, obviously, but that's, that's probably what we'll see th from now through this spring breeding season. Okay. As I, as I look through the, the data here and, and read the article and kind of look through the bulls that you have listed in the management guide, I see uh, a bull with a score of a 97 and another bull with a score with a 105. Should I just use the bull with the 105? Well, um, kind of like you know I mentioned before, I don't think that's going to be the only criteria yeah. for most herds, but it's, it's going to be part of the selection yeah. index, I think. You know, so if a bull's a 97 and he fits perfectly for my program otherwise, I don't see any reason to throw that bull out of my breeding program. 
Um, on the other hand, if I, I've got two bulls that are of equal genetic merit, I like them both, they fit my program great. Uh, you know, the, the higher preg check sire, you know, gives me an advantage in the number of pregnancies I'm gonna get to the AI. So there's advantage to that. So when you're comparing apples to apples, you know, one more tool uh, makes me, uh, allows me to make better selection. And then it, it allows you to see, so, you know, what, what you can expect for some bulls that are listed versus bulls that don't have a score. Maybe you don't know where they would lie in this. Yeah, that's just it. I mean, we, we uh, think there's tremendous value in knowing where a bull is. Um, there, yes, there are some bulls that are below 100 or below average, you could say. Uh, but we know that they're not extremely inferior um, versus a sire that is completely unknown. Uh, we think PregCheck is a really nice tool to minimize risk in an AI program. Sure. Well, Brad, I, I mean, this looks great. I think, I think this is something that our customers can go out and, and, and use, use it as another tool to, to help them decide and become more profitable, stay, stay profitable. So appreciate you joining me today and, and discussing this for, for all of our great Gen X customers out there.